Hi guys, welcome back. I'm very, very excited to have you here. And we're going to go straight to strategies for beginners. This is supposed to be fun because now we're going to learn how to start making profits in the easiest way. These are not the ultimate strategies, but they're good strategies to get you started. And they're very easy to understand. So let's dive in. So we're going to start with EMA strategy. We are going to discuss the EMA's beginner strategy. So the EMA stand for exponential moving averages. So how moving averages work, they are in they are in a line and if the candles are above the line, it's a buy. If they're below the line, it's a sell. So the tools that we're going to use, we have 50 EMA which is applied to close. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that. We have 50 applied to low EMA that's 50 EMA applied to low then we have the 10 EMA that is going to be applied to close so the entry conditions are the 10 EMA should cross both the 50 EMAs above for a buy so that means the 10 EMA is supposed to the line is supposed to cross above the 250s above for a buy and below for a sell and a candle has to close the stop loss should be a few pips away from where the market took a turn. Don't worry, we are going to see that in a few minutes. The trailing, you're going to trail using swing lows and swing highs, depending on what direction. Have you taken a buy or a sell? Then exit on the opposite side signal. So, and also do not risk more than 1% per trade because we are starting and we need to risk small so that we can be able to understand how this market works. And also use time frames M30 and above. So we have many time frames. We have M1, M15, M30. What that means is if I say I'm using an M30 chart, it means I'm going to check the chart after every 30 minutes. It also means every candle is representing 30 minutes. If I'm using M1, every candle is representing one minute. If I'm using day one, every candle is representing one day. So here are the EMA settings. You see, you're just going to right click on this line because it's already a line. What you can see, the three lines are EMAs. The red one is the 10 EMA. Then these two, one of them is 50 applied to low. You can see here, period is 50. Method is exponential applied to low. Then you can choose your color. This one here, this one is the 50 applied to low. Then this one here is the 50 applied to close. Then we have the 10, which is red in color, applied to close. So those are the setups for the EMAs. Where are you getting these EMAs? You just go to your MT5, insert indicator, trend, then choose moving average. How do we enter the market buy? I said the first, you have to wait for the 10 EMA to cross above and the candle to close. So the 10 EMA here, you can see it here. The red one crossed above, getting confused with closed candle, cross over, bear with me. So the 10 EMA has to cross above the 250s. So you can see here, this is where the 10 EMA crossed and a candle closed. So that shows you to enter buy. You're going to put your stop loss under the last swing low. You can see there's a very small swing low here. The market did one, then another swing here. So this is the last swing low. You can see, so you're going to put your stop loss somewhere, a few pips, maybe 10 or 20 pips below here. Then you're going to let it run. You're going to trail using the swing lows because we are going high. So we are on a buy. So whenever there's a swing low, it gives you a potential structure that will be broken so that you can go on a sell. So you're going to trail using the swing lows. So you enter your buy here. You put your stop loss here. Where there's a new swing low, you pick your stop loss here put it here another swing low here another swing low so what you're doing is you're trailing so if you check this market you will have gone all the way up you will have trailed here so you have locked profits from here to here and it got you out because it hit your trailing stop loss here you will have gained that way you are not yet entered sell because the 10 ema has not crossed the 250s so you have to be patient and wait so that's a buy entry a sell entry you have to wait for the 10 EMA to cross below the 250s, which is here, and a candle to close. So cross below and a candle to close. Then your last swing high, because it's a sell, that is your stop loss. And you're going to trail on the next 
swing high, which is this. So you will have trailed somewhere around here. Then you will have already been stopped out, but you have gained profits from here all the way to here. So that's very easy. There's always advantage and a disadvantage with very clear and indicators we use. The clear the indicators, they can look very good, but you need to be careful whenever the market is not trending. But this is an easy one to start with. You can demo it. You can try and see how you can spike it up, make it better and customize it to you, to your preference. So the pros, this strategy can keep you in a long-term trend. Let's go back a bit, you see. For example, here, if you entered here, it will have kept you in this trend for so long. If it's, imagine if this, this is a H4 chart, those are a couple of weeks. So the pros, it can keep you in a long-term trend, the strategy is very easy to follow. So because you're just looking at crossovers and a candle to close, it assists you to trade with the trend because the EMAs are showing you the trend. If the candles are above the EMA, it's a buy trend. If they're below the EMAs, it's a sell trend. So what I mean is, let me just go back. The candles here are above the EMA, so it's a buy trend. The candles are below the EMAs, so it's a sell trend there yeah? and very good for trending markets so those are the pros the cons doesn't work well with short time frames so if you're going to use this on m1 or m5 it might not be the very best of choice so you'd rather just use it from m30 going up doesn't work well in consolidating markets i've mentioned that already because in consolidating markets there's no defined trend and this is a trending market strategy so if it's not trending just keep off the market fast or just use a lot of caution and please put in stop losses so i hope you enjoyed that very easy practice it and let's see in the next lesson thank you bye bye